Yo, so this is just an idea I have that sort of redefines what success means. And for me, it's just freedom and also just defining what freedom is. So I want to get to those two things. But this is just a really big idea I've been wanting to share for a long time. And I've been thinking about it and I finally got more clarity on the idea. So I'm here to share it with you. And it's the fact that we're living in a new age of success or what it means to be a successful person. And... The reason I bring this up is because it's fascinating all the things we can do. I've struggled with it for a long time, for a few years, or basically my whole life of what to do with my life. And these existential questions have been um, some of the most fascinating for me and also the most troublesome where they bring the most anxiety and they bring the most fear and worry about my future. But At the same time, it's led to ideas like this. So let me just get right into it because I think there's a huge shift going on. I may be late to the party, but either way, I want to just bring this idea to light because it's new to me and let's go. So new age success. One of the coolest things about what we do with our life is the access we have and what we can do. For example, we can be, I can be a pro level athlete, uh, an artist, a musician, a rapper, podcaster, video editor, a video content creator, all at a pro level. I'm not saying a pro athlete, but I do dunk well, whatever, okay? We're gonna set aside the arrogance and and the judgment of my own self, whatever. The worry of judgment of others aside. Pro level athlete, pro level rapper, I can't rap, okay, it's okay. All that aside. The thing is, you can do these different avenues that once were only for select people or only available in very rare forms. Let's get into the example. So, pro-level athlete. I now have courts that are adjustable. That's beautiful. I now have the people that are in the gym are all doctorates and have all these different fields. I get to pick their brain and learn from them. The equipment I'm using is top of the line for the price of a regular gym membership. Uh, the recovery equipment, the same. I'm going in a cold tub. I'm going in a sauna. I got. I know about foam rolling. And that leads me to the next example is that, or the next the in-depth of why this is so amazing is because I have access to all these things, but I also have the information. So I have podcasts that I can listen to from uh, doctors to experts to nutritionists to scientists to all of that at a click of a button at a fast rate. And now I'm getting all this elite level information that I can apply instantly. So the time we have is just so, so, so shortened. And the access to this people that normally if you wanted to train at this level with this type of training information you had to be a part of some kind of team I don't even know how you would do it I'll just move on to another example music I'm writing my own music producing my own music editing my own music and distributing it right so I'm doing every step of the process yes I work hard but the point is not that the point is I have this computer I have this microphone pro level things I have pro level editing tools I have pro level teaching tools on YouTube to teach me how to do all of these things and then with the click of a button I can distribute it to any uh, audio platform I want sitting right here for it's like 20 bucks a year it's it's mind blowing so now I went from the whole pro now think about that 30 years ago 50 years ago I don't know history whatever there was whatever time there was if you're a rapper how do you even record? You got to know somebody that has a studio and you got to go to that studio and then they got to edit. How do you even do that, right? I can do all of this next to my bed right here, okay? It's ridiculous. And it's, you can say I have all the access to these things, but they're not expensive anymore. And besides the expensiveness, expensive, ex- besides the price, um, you have the ability to understand that all you need is this mic, all you need is this computer, and you can do it on your own. And you can learn on your own, which is crazy. If you're a rapper back in the day, in the 1800s, say you're a rapper in the 1800s, how are you even gonna learn about these things? Now, now it leads me to my next point, the access we have. I've been watching these round tables, shout out to these Hollywood reporter things, I don't even know what they calls, with the with actors and directors, and you get to hear them talk about their films and different things like that. So for someone like me that loves creating things, I get to see their thought process. So back, let's go back to the 1800s again, the actors, (laughs) they don't have TVs back then. (laughs) Whatever, you get the point. Um, when they're acting on screen or they're, they're thinking how, how are they creating their art? They get to pick the brain of someone who's down the road. Um, so shout out to my boy, Adam Jablin, because he is, 
my guru, and he's he he said in a video we made recently, he's 15 years down the road of sobriety. Now that's not the path I'm going with. I'm not saying I'm, I'm talking about sobriety now, but with spirituality and his wisdom of life and experience in business and experience with people and experience of his life of being a successful person, just being at peace with life, right? He's got 15 years ahead down the road of practicing. And so for me to be able to just talk to him is the biggest blessing. So now we have that in the, in forms of YouTube and podcasts and all these different things that you can get this knowledge, audio books, you can read books as you drive. If you're focused and you're mindful, you're not, you're actually focusing on the book. I'm a big fan of audio books, but at the same time, you got to be mindful. You can't just play it on the background, just get to get it done. I listen to a book. What'd you have? What is it about? I have no idea because I was doing my laundry and I was worried about other things because your mind's re- okay. The point is read sometimes too. It's good for your brain. Um, whew, where was I? So We have this access to these people that we get to see. It's it's like basically like I hear the author Wayne Dyer. I read his books and then I get to listen to more speeches by him and him talk about different topics. So you have so much access at so much, so much time. What was the other example? So we got music. We got, I'm a pro athlete. Okay. I'll dunk on anybody you put in front of me. I'll kill him. Okay. Um, and uh, photo video. So my business has been photo and video for a couple years now. I have my own business and I have a professional camera you're looking on. Um, I, uh, I have the editing software. I have access to music, right? All these different things to make a freaking video production from the directing to the editing to the uh, posting, right? I can do every step of the process. Now you can make a freaking documentary level quality video by yourself and you can learn i've learned everything you've seen here by the way to tap myself on the back i taught myself i didn't go to school for any of this and imposter syndrome anybody can learn it you can learn it online you can learn how the cameras work you can test it out you can you can literally talk to the people who are doing it like peter mckinnon on youtube you leave a comment on his video he might actually answer it and that's his job that's his uh not his job to answer the comment it's his job as a filmmaker and he's just that's the access we have so what's the point the point is I used to struggle with trying to choose one of these avenues because I know I could be a rapper. I know I can dunk on anybody. And I know I can be a director, a filmographer, a cinematographer, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But the point is, which one do you choose? And it's sometimes it's hard because we want to be the best. We want to do the one thing, as this book says right here. Did I bring this up earlier? This book was the pinnacle of that. When I read that book, when I was in my corporate job, not working nine to five, I'm like, that's it. I'm going to find my one thing. I'm going to quit and do it. Uh, It didn't work out that way, but I've always been searching for that one thing. What's, what am I best at? But now because we have so much access, we have so much extra time because of how fast things are. We have so much resources. People are learning together. So like people put that gym together for me with all that equipment. So it's just, we can do so many things at a pro level at once, I don't think it is even smart or even the best life or the most success you can have as a person to do one thing. Because if I, because first of all, I wouldn't have learned about myself going deep now. I wouldn't have learned about myself if I didn't do each of these areas from the physical journey to the music to the photo video. I would have not learned about all these different arts. And I believe all of us are artists. Each one of us is an artist and we find our way to express that. And so, Going forward, checking camera still on, because I'm my own producer because I'm doing everything, okay? I'm doing everything. Uh, Going forward, I encourage you or I invite you to look at everything that you can do and start doing it because it's a lot of fun, number one. Life is about enjoying more moments than not enjoying them and seeing success as a different way. I think my theory is that we're gonna see more people that are multi-talented. Like there's a Jamie Foxx, I think he's always brought up as a, multi-talented, right? Sing, what is he, a singer, actor, comedian, all of those different things. And he's like, oh, that's a, uh, what do you call it, a outlier. But he was, he was an outlier for his time, but now it's like you can practice all these things and learn how to practice these things at such a different level and such a different rate that the time it took for him to learn the skills he learned are a lot shorter now. So we're gonna see people like myself that can dunk and break people's spirit. <laughs> Um, that can train as a high level athlete that can produce music that can produce content, video content. And for someone like me, that's extremely expressive. If you can't tell, um, 
it's exciting. And it's also, um, I'm excited to see where it goes, what other people do when people are artists that paint, what else can they do? Maybe they have a podcast as well. So you get, you just get more of each person, you get more expression. And now that's where it kind of ends for me. I don't know what it's going to look like, but Naval Ravikant said this on Joe Rogan once. He said, if robots do everything for us, because people worry there's not going to be any jobs, he's like, we're going to just create, we're going to make beautiful things because we're all artists and we're going to have more freedom to just do that. So I agree with that and, or not just agree with it. I I'm excited for that. So and, pe- and another guy, like just, just so many people that could do so many things. So what's the point? The point is, I'm going to get to the spirituality to end it, but the point is start looking at your life as you don't have to find your one thing because all these different things can be done at that pro level that if you can see it that way, it reduces anxiety, at least for me, because I realize it doesn't make sense to do one thing because I can do all these different things at such a high level. Before it was like, if I don't make it in this one thing, I I don't have time to do those other things. They were distractions. Now they're not distractions. They are other avenues for me to express myself to learn even more. So boom, that's a bar right there. Okay. But now what is success? What is freedom? So success to me, if you go deep enough is, what was I just reading the other day? Success by Napoleon Hill. It's for me, it's just the sense of freedom. It's the sense of you can do whatever you want, when you want, as much as you want, with whomever you want. I think Tony Robbins said that. But the point is, success, do you want the fame for what you're doing? Or, or And I, I would think that to myself, I want fame. I want, I want to be famous. I want to be known for this thing. Known is like the ego of you want to be known so you're validated that your work is good. Okay, I got over that. Now it's like I want fame because I want to do more of it. Because if you're famous, it feels like when you distribute it, you get more out and then people uh, uh, fund you to do more art because once you're famous, you kind of hit the tipping point. So it's more just more freedom. It's not really about people knowing me anymore because I, I got over that with thought about thought through that with the ego. That's the inner work, by the way. That's the stuff I want you to really do is really take time to realize, realize what you want to do and what's really blocking it. Anyway, what is that fame? What is it for? Go deeper. And so... That, that success makes me feel like I just want the freedom to do more of these things. And what's great is you can do those things now. So what you truly want is freedom. And now the other practice to end it, I'll see if I can wrap it up smoothly here, is freedom. Checking if it's in focus this whole time. Hopefully it is because I, I really liked how this came out. Um, freedom is something you have at all times. But a lot of times we worry, when I get this, I'll feel free. When I get this, I'll feel secure. When I get this, I'll feel happy. But there's a practice in the now to realize you have those things now. So you have the freedom now, and it's about expressing that freedom. And then when you have more of it, it's just showing that your vibration is vibrating higher and you're attracting more and more freedom. So if whatever success means to you, you already have success. You're successful within. You have success. Um, it's so hard to put into words. I haven't gotten, so the first part I had, but the second part, um, success, this is what I wanted to say. You're free from worry. When you're successful, you're free from trying to prove yourself. You're free from your ego. You're free from doubt. You're free from all these things. That's what success truly means to me, is not just, so it's not about achieving these things. It's about, How do I remove these things and feel successful instead of trying to achieve something to then feel successful? Because I think Deepak Chopra said this in a book by Gabby Bernstein I was listening to recently said this. um, If you're happy for no reason, that's the true happiness because if you're happy for a reason, then whatever happens to that reason will remove your happiness as well. So you really want that unwavering happiness from within. So I want you to think about your success and redefine your freedom. Yo, I almost forgot. I just got off the phone with my friend Sarah Gaines and she was talking about this new age paradigm shifting of do, do, do and doing less. Anyway, the point is it also brought up another thought I had, which was the paradigm that we used to live in of the one thing made sense. And now it's more dangerous to do one thing. And I'll tell you why, because If you're doing one thing, say I'm trying to be a pro level athlete, now there's so many people that can compete with me at that pro level. Literally, like I'm the other side of it. So if there's pro level athletes, there's someone like me that worked the nine to five job and now I'm just training like a pro level athlete and if I'm working my brains out, I can be at your level and now you're competing with people like me that are coming off a job 
that can be training with the same access and resources and facilities that you're training at. Of course, there's skill involved, but the point is now you're competing with more people. So you're putting your eggs in one basket in a bigger pool of eggs. <laughs> you're putting your eggs in one basket in a bigger pool of people, a bigger pool of competition. Another example is like acting. Anybody can do it or you're trying to make be funny. You see TikTok videos, there's a million people doing the same thing. So what separates people? What separates people? One, it's you're going to be your variety of things. This person can do all these different things. That's really cool. And then it's going to be your art. The beautiful part, it's going to be your art. It's going to be come down to if people like it. There's enough people to go around for everybody to have enough to. And in the universal speaking, there's enough for everybody and everybody can have everything. That's what I believe. So if people want to find you, they're going to resonate with your energy and it's going to be the more authentic you can be, the more people are going to resonate with or you're going to find the right people. So it doesn't really matter. But now I want to talk about the old paradigm, which is doing the one thing. If you were an actor, you had to move to L.A., you had to leave your family, you had to uh, try this one thing and very few people or less people at least were willing to do that. Plus, you're not in touch with your people, your family, you're, you have less distractions, you're avoiding all these other opportunities. And but now you can do those same endeavors without letting go of everything around you. So my point is, when you're doing that one thing in the past, you had maybe had less competition or less people doing it, but um, it was more of a risk and you stood out because I think less people were doing it. I don't even know if that's true, but you know what I'm saying is that if you're trying to make something happen, you really had to let go of a lot of different things. Well, now if I want to make music or if I want to make videos, I could still do an entire job. I was doing a nine to five job while doing all of this or most of it, right? So it's not, it's not the way, it, it's actually more dangerous now to not do multiple things. And I hope that makes sense back to the original video. Mm -hmm and live a life of freedom and understand that you have freedom and success within right now and you could practice that. So what is causing your worry? What, why are you attaching achieving something to success? Because success, when you get there, is just that sense of freedom. So what is blocking that freedom right now? And that's what I encourage you to work on. We're in a new age of success and that's what I'm excited for. So that's me. And uh, if you're new to my stuff, I don't know how you're new because I've posted a million things. But if you're new, obviously there's a billions of people you could be new. But if you're new, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you share in the energy and I hope you um, share, share some of your energy because it really inspires me that this hit one person and that uh, it changed something. And I would love to know your ideas because these ideas came from me sharing ideas. So it's just a shared energy. So I'm Steven, I guess. So <laughs> have a good one. Go be the artist you know you can be and go for your dreams. Go for it. Simply go for it. See what could happen. I really want you to just take that leap of faith. I love you. <laughs> so this is an exciting time. This new awareness may bring some new enthusiasm to your life and excitement, but it also may bring some fears and doubts and worry and, and confusion. So I love making videos, helping you express the highest version of yourself. So I want to help you through this journey that I've gone through to find what you love to do. It's not easy. A quick one is know what you don't like to do. Casey Neistat did a job. He hated scrubbing buckets for 20 years or something or 10 years, and he knew he hated that. So so point is, start with what you don't like, but start thinking of what your dream life is all about. And I love making videos on those ups and downs. I've made a video on being the wave about understanding what you can control in a moment and what you can't and how to flow with that. So if you're into all that, please let me know what topics you want me to cover. I love spirituality and understanding how to bring inner peace and finding your voice, finding your expression and how to embody that highest version of yourself because it's just living life on a higher frequency and I love doing it and I hope you enjoy more. See ya!